but they did also say that mo a lot of the boats weren't in so he prematurely was um i guess claiming the victory right Bellotio told me that he prematurely does a lot of things <laughs> Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no click. Good morning, OGV fam. This is veteran newscaster Peter Gunman. I know it's been a while since you guys have seen me, but I've been covering the news. I've been in Mississippi, Kansas, Oklahoma. I've been in North Carolina, Georgia, Pennsylvania, and now I'm back in Los Angeles. Today I'm gonna be eating President Trump's last meal as president. Let's get into the video. OGV fam, I am back. I am back and I am ready to enjoy. If you didn't know, President Trump's favorite meal is meatloaf. He doesn't eat much veggies, but I do. So here I have a nice beef, beefy meatloaf. I have some cauliflower mash. If you like to mash, you know what I mean. And I have some asparagus. Okay. I thought President Trump ate a lot of fast food. Did you call him peasant? Pe I mean, peasant, peasant Trump. Trump. Peasant, peasant Trump. Trump. Yes, peasant. peasant. Trump. I know he ate a lot of fast food. How did you find out he liked meatloaf? Well, I didn't know that. Um, I've been having conversations with him and his constituents. Oh, uh, okay. At the White House. Interesting. And they explained to me how much he loves meatloaf. He also loves McDonald's right. with his fat ass. So he cooks meatloaf or his wife? He doesn't cook anything. Donald Trump sits on his ass and, and calls and writes on Twitter. That's what he does. <laughs> okay. What his sister, his sister is the one that makes him meatloaf. Melania can't cook. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't believe she can cook. Oh, okay. And if she could cook, she wouldn't want to cook for him. When I was in the White House, she was definitely trying to get under my draws. Okay. But I wouldn't allow it. Okay. She's not my type. I think you should go ahead and start eating. Pizza. Should I? Should I? Yes. Great. Let's try this meatloaf. Oh wow, it looks very juicy. Let's see. Okay. There's a little cheese. Got cheese in it? Yeah. There's some cheese in the meatloaf. Hmm. Tastes like bread. <laughs> Tastes like bread. Well, did you make this yourself or where'd you get the meatloaf from? As I said earlier, when I was in the White House and hanging around Don and his constituents. His sister offered me a pan, a pound of meatloaf, okay. and I took it. <laughs> so you brought this back from D.C.? I brought this back from Washington, D.C. It was frozen <laughs> in the air. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. It was frozen with dry ice, and then when I brought... And when I brought it home, I decided to to open it up, but you invited me over here because little man is gone. I understand what you want from me later. Um, so. Peter, don't start. Do not, do not so that. as I was saying, thank you for the invite. Thank you for earlier off camera and we will continue on with, with this. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this. This is really good. For those of you who don't know, I, cop I followed this on the news. I actually got this from Sweet Baby Ray himself when I was interviewing him. Whoa. So he gives me free items and this is one of you the things. It has no sugar. You I need you to I need you to be quiet, young lady. Stephanie. So you didn't pick that up when I took you to the store to Rob's just now? No, I did not. Okay. I did not. Okay. I did not. You got it from Sweet Baby himself? I got it from him himself. And and this tastes this has no sugar and it tastes exactly like the regular barbecue sauce. Please check that out, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. As I was saying, now I'm going to try this cauliflower mash. This is my first time making it. Uh, well, I don't know who made it. That looks like tuna. It looks like tuna. But it tastes like cauliflower mash. Mmm. Hmm. You like it? It's very good. It's very delicious. I actually got this from Martha Stewart. She, she made it? She did. Martha Stewart made it for me. So, would you get me a napkin, please, Stephanie? Stephanie, give me a napkin, please. I'm sorry, I was so used to being in the White House okay, yeah. that I lost my manners. You're in the Black House right now. Gotcha. Act as such. Would you please hand me a napkin, my sweet, beautiful black queen? Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
So I have a, I have several questions for you. Now I got a question for you. I know you've been covering the news. I have. And the election. I have been covering the news and the election. So we, we value your, your opinion here. Very much so. Very much you guys value my opinion. Okay. Done. Calm down. All right. So, November 3rd, election day. November 3rd was election day. Where were you? Where were you on election day? Were you here in LA or did you? I ran myself ragged on election day. On the actual day of the election, which was election day, <laughs> mm -hmm. I was in Georgia. Oh, okay. I was in Pennsylvania. Wait a I was in Arizona. I was in Nevada, Los Angeles. I went everywhere making sure that the poll workers were doing their jobs. I saw a lot of people with Biden flags. I saw a lot of people with Trump flags. Everyone was going haywire. Everyone was going crazy. I was even followed home by a Trumpster. She was a really old woman and she said that she was going to beat me up. I beat her up instead. Okay. I do not condone beating old women. So, we're gonna cut that, cut that out. I need to cut that out. I don't want to lose my job as a top, the top veteran newscaster. No Thank you. So you were in six different states in one day? I was. Okay. I have a private jet that only Boeing created for me. So I'm able to go to places that would normally take six hours and get there in two. Your plane is double the speed of a regular plane? I, first of all, I have a jet. I mean, your jet, I'm sorry. It's, it's triple the speed. What is it, like a rocket ship? It's almost like a teleporter. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, those are the things that I did. Okay. So, on that day, Trump basically, he claimed the presidency pretty much that same day. He did. He was in the lead. It looked like, you know, pretty much, um, it did look to me like he was going to win. It did. But they did also say that mo a lot of the votes weren't in, so he prematurely was, um, I guess, claiming the victory, right? Melania told me that he prematurely does a lot of things. <laughs> and I, oh. <laughs> okay. I, I took care of that. I took care of that for her. Oh, God. Okay. So, let me ask you this. Be, okay, let's, did you think Trump or Biden was going to win before, before election, election day? Who were you rooting for? Who did you, no, not, not even who you rooting for. Who did you think was going to win? Did you think Trump was going to remain president? Well, in all honesty, I have to be honest with you. Okay. I have all the inside on Intel. Oh, okay. I have you all, already knew. I already knew who was okay. going to win. Oh, okay. But being the newscaster, veteran newscaster that I am, I had to make sure that I was unbiased when I was sneaking into, I mean, well, when I was talking and covering the news. <laughs> From secret sources, mm -hmm. I already knew that Biden was going to win right along with Kamala and there was no chance of Donald Trump winning. The only people that voted for Donald Trump were the people that voted for him and I will leave that alone because I am a newscaster, veteran newscaster, and I must remain biased. Okay. Um, so speaking of Kamala, what do you, what do you think of her? So do you think she's going to do a good job as vice president? Okay. I'm sorry. Kamala. Kamala Davis. Davis ain't Harris? Harris. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. All right, baby. Kamala Harris. Uh -huh. She's definitely not Harris. She keeps herself very, <laughs> very maintained. Very, what? very maintained. Peter, that is inappropriate. She's married first. What me and Kamala did was very Kamala has no idea what a man could do until she met me. Oh, okay. Her husband is nothing. Well, Doug ain't doing nothing. Doug's not doing shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. The question was, do you think she's gonna do a good job as vice president? Well, if I would compare her to anything that I compared her to the other night, yes. She's gonna do a wonderful exceptional job okay. better job than any job has ever been done before she's definitely gonna do a good job she does great jobs by the way kamala remember that night 
Uh-uh. Okay, ne next question. Next Jobs question. that I've no, never had. Next, next question. Do you think Trump's, Trump's accusations of voter fraud are valid? Give me a second. Trump's accusations are buffoonery. He has no idea what he is talking about. He believes that you should drink bleach. OGV News does not endorse any of Donald Trump's accusations. Donald Trump is a sore loser. He's a big baby. I saw him the other day. He was on Facebook. As a matter of fact, I was there when he was on the toy and they were trying to pull him out of the White House and he was rocking back and forth on the toy. I was the guy standing in the camera who you could see the back of his head. I was that guy. Okay. I'm sick of him. Okay. Donald Trump is no longer our president. He never was our president. He was just an actor in the White House. Bye, Don. <laughs> okay. So, how are you feeling on the days um, after the election, like every, it, for, for me, it was like every day I was just like hoping that we would get the announcement, mm. you know what I mean? Like, why do you think the vote, voting process took so long this year? I was on the front lines. I was on the front lines. I was, not only was I a newscaster, I was also security, oh. national security. National security. I was looking out for the pollsters, Democrats and Republicans. I was watching everybody. I was making sure that no one cheated because I wanted a fair fight. Ooh. I wanted a fair fight. You seem very passionate about this. I'm very passionate about this. I wanted a fair fight and I didn't understand why Donald, why he said that. Oh. Why? Why? Oh, shit. What? <laughs> no. No, Peter. No. No. Peter. It's okay. Why he said what? Why he said that the Democrats were cheating. Oh. Why he said that the poll workers were doing what they did. I was there. <laughs> I worked as a poll worker one of those days. And he accused me after I went to his house and ate his meatloaf. <laughs> he, came, he came to me and he told me, Peter, you, you are cheating. You are cheating on the polls. And I told him, no, I wouldn't do such a thing. You're a sore loser. Okay. You big baby, I... Take a deep breath, Peter. I think you, you're getting really worked up here. He won't even eat food from his house because he knows that everybody wants to poison him. That's why he eats fast food. Okay, that was irrelevant, but that's, you just want to add that in? You just want to throw that in? I did. Okay. Whew, you got me. My blood pressure up a little. You okay? I'm great. Okay. I'm wonderful. Okay. Maybe we shouldn't touch on that too much. So, I believe you, okay? I believe everything you was telling the truth. You was telling the truth, huh? Thank you. I was. <laughs> I don't have a reason to lie. He tried to accuse me and tried to get me arrested like he will be arrested. Well, he has a lot of um, losses going on. Did he try to sue you too as well? No, but I'm suing him for sexual harassment. What? <laughs> he has already 12 of them. There's a reason why. Oh, shit. So he wants you? He did. Okay. He tried to grab my... Me and Obama were shooting the hay the other day. Mm -hmm. you, you and Obama, okay. Me and Obama, we were playing basketball. One of my side girls and Ob Michelle were knitting sweaters and... Um, we were watching all the Donald Trump memes, especially there's this one that says, uh, stop counting, and then it's a picture of him with the striped shirt on and a wig that looks like the lady that we had, you know, you know what I'm talking yeah. I wanted to see what you thought about somebody, because, you know, uh, Donald is an avid tweeter. That's all he you know, does. Tweet. Yes, that's Donald Trump. So I want to see what you think about some of these things he's been putting out to the world. All right. Okay. There's cheddar cheese in this meatloaf. It's really delicious. Thanks, Donald Trump's sister. I appreciate the meatloaf, as you appreciated the meat. So one of the things he said was that legally, he won the presidency. But if you count the illegal votes, they're trying to steal the presidency away, presidency away from him. Now, what does he mean by the illegal votes? 
I think he was saying anything after the election was illegal. And then he was making accusations that there was like voter fraud, you know, different things. Oh, he said Biden votes were uh, magically appearing as if people were giving fake votes. Let me clear something up. Donald Trump urged his followers, his minions, not to vote by mail. Hey, don't vote by mail. Hey, it's fraud. Hey, don't do this. Hey, don't do that. So, therefore, he knew that the votes that weren't for him were going to come in later and come by mail. We know that the mail-in votes are later. He should have known that he was going to lose from the beginning. I, I don't have empathy, empathy, or empathy, or empathy for Donald Jackass Trump. <laughs> he tried to fight me when I told him I was going to do this mukbang. 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 I told him. Go ahead and try, sucker. Go ahead and try. He probably gonna sue you. He loves suing me. Well, I have more money than Donald Trump and better lawyers. He can try it if he wants to. I'll knock that sucker where it hurts. Uh, okay. You have knocked that sucker you got more where it money hurts. Than Trump? I do have more money than Trump. And right now, what I'm gonna tell you is, it is time for me to go. It is time for me for you to give me what I came here for. You got what you came for. I came here for something else and I'm going to get it. that is the end of this video I will be back OGV family with another amazing exciting awesome newscast for you goodbye OGV fam Peter Gunman signing out